Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some wigs. We're going to be using a lovely model here to show you. And I have one, two, three, four wigs. Um, let's see if we get through all four of them. I'm going to be brushing them and just messing around with the wigs. I'm just going to start with the first one I grab. Okay, which is this one. Let's see. This is a Okay, so this is like a blue gray wig. See it? Let's move her back a little bit. Okay. So she's a nice little wavy blue gray wig. And Show you guys how the inside looks she's a little staticky she has some static i have some dry shampoo maybe we'll um, tame her a little bit for right now this is the inside let's move this light a little bit okay this is the inside She's like a well ventilated cap. Most of the wigs I show you guys are the same inside, but I like to show you. So this part right here is where the little fake scalp part is. And then it has two combs. I love my combs and wigs. And then it has a comb on the bottom as well. I do like that it has one here. A lot of the times wigs won't come with a comb down here if they have like two up here or like this one has adjustable strap so I guess they feel like sometimes you don't need to comb down here but I like I like the comb in the back and I also like adjustable straps because I find most of the time wigs are feel a little big on my head and I'm gonna show you guys a little fake part up close see so it kind of simulates scalp so let's put her on and I love um, wavy style wigs when it comes to human hair I like straight I like straight wigs and then I like to kind of wave them up myself instead of just buying like body wave or a wavy wig but when it comes to synthetic wigs I like that I like wavy I don't have to do nothing to it She has a little few strands of shedding. I don't think this is the first time I've combed this wig. I've never worn it. Um, when it comes to wigs like this, you see how the front is? It's not a lace front. It has a little fake scalp area, but this tends to look unnatural because like the front is very thick and usually our hairlines are not like that in the front, right? Our hairlines are usually not this thick in the front. So these are just good like throw on wigs with a, with a hat or something. Um, or if you're into cosplay or you wanna take photos, at least for me. But maybe one day I'll, I'll customize one of these wigs on this channel. This parting area, there's ways you can make it look a little more realistic. I just don't want to take the time. <laughs> um, sometimes, sometimes I will. Most of the time, I just don't want to spend that time customizing wigs like this. 
So, look at her. She's gorgeous. Let's spray some. Reduce some of that shine. She doesn't have too much shine, but if I was to take a photo with flash, yes, she would be shining like the sun. So I usually just use, this is just a cheap dry shampoo. You can get any dry shampoo. I like the sprays because you can just spray it on. You don't have to dust powder on it or anything like that, but you can. You can dust, um, you can use powder. I actually was going through my makeup yesterday and um, was just looking to see what makeup needs to go. I actually have some right here. Like this is an old LA Color translucent powder that I'm gonna be using for wigs or like um, just other purposes aside from, and this one too, this fit me. So this is like just a loose finishing powder. This works perfectly fine. I'm gonna be using those for wigs and other projects. But look at her, look at her. You just gotta, you plump her up a little bit. I like a nice full wig. I really do. I have a, a big face. I used to think I have a big head. I still feel like I have a big head. However, every time I get a wig, I have to use the adjustable straps or like it's the wig is too big on me. So I'm like, do I really have a big head? But I do have um, a big face. So I like bigger hair, kind of like slims my face down you see how it's it's she's already she already has a slim face but it's just like I love that I'm just doing a light tease nothing too crazy but isn't she gorgeous look at that I love me a wavy wig but so this wig, depending on what light, like I'm looking in the um, camera and hmm, let me see. It was just looking blue, but now I feel like it's looking like a dark gray. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a gray, but then I don't know. It's a very, it's a gorgeous color. I love gray. I've said this before. I used to have silver hair. I used to have blonde hair, so I love, love, love the blondes and silvers. Um, I love gray. And um, this wig is, I would say the majority of it is, is gray, but I really like how the blue adds like some dimension into it. And it also just creates like Just a different look like one light it'll look gray one light it'll look bluish another light it'll look like mix so i really 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 love that okay let me try to focus and see if it and this is a synthetic wig you can't apply heat to it I have wigs this style. This is like a 14, 14 inch. Um, and you know, synthetic wigs can have the tendency to get um, tangled when you wear it. This wig does not, you can do this all day. Just, just run your fingers through like it's your natural hair all day, beautiful wig. So there is ways that you can customize. It takes a little work where you can make this parting in the front look a little bit more realistic.
definitely reducing the shine on a synthetic wig is gonna automatically improve, you know, how fake it looks. Cause the shine is, is really what kind of throws it off. See, so with this particular wig, can't really pick, put all like this piece of hair back, put a little bit back, maybe leave like, let me see, some hair right here. And do a little something like this. Just kind of bringing it back with a, with a cute little clip. shedding see she looks blue here to me nice gorgeous blue And I would probably, mm, I would pluck that part a little bit because it looks kind of closed off in some areas. Well, it looks close in some areas. I would pluck it just a little bit. It looks okay in the camera, but while I'm looking at it in person, it looks some areas look a little bit closed off. I would pluck it just a little bit. And you can always add color to the part to match, you know, your complexion. But this is her, isn't she a beauty? All right, let me get, here we go. Put her back in her room. Bye-bye. And this wig is so soft. see look at that it looks like there's a lot of blue but I think there's more gray in this wig than blue okay who's next let's see put them in these little drawstring bags nice and safe and cozy let's see um let's let's look at this one this is a little fun wig I actually just got this one a couple of days ago. And she's a pink one. She is a little messy though, hold on. I think I took her out the pack the other day and then um, just kind of threw, threw her somewhere. I think I was like cleaning up or something like that. So she's a little messy. But um, here she is, the inside, same thing. The parting area. And then this one doesn't have combs. Um, and these adjustable straps. I like this type of cap. Nice ventilation. Let me show you the carving for cutting. You, 
can barely see the scalp. It's like really white. I don't think it's gonna show that good. I would pluck this part for sure. It's very, very close together. situated. See that shine? She has just a few. Not too much shedding. This is why my room always just, I'm, I'm vacuuming every single day in my bedroom. She's a little bit on the thinner side and very shiny. You can see how shiny she is in comparison to the last wig. This wig was really cheap, so I'm not too mad. I think it was like $5. <laughs> For like a $5 wig, it's still not bad because I've seen worse in Party City. For more. You know, in Party City wigs, we like $30 for some horrible, horrible quality. This one you can work with. So she has a, a very loose wave at the bottom. This is not typically the style I would get. I would get it to be more wavy. Um, again, it was a very cheap wig. I'm not too mad at it. Reduce the shine and she's good to go. I would need more work though with reducing the shine more than just dry shampoo I put a little bit too much there I would definitely need some powder It a little bit it might not I don't think it's showing up on the camera but in person I'm looking at that side compared to the other side I helped it a little bit so she's about 14 as well a little bit of shedding and she's a cutie she's a nice a little cosplay costume wig and um, she's on the thinner side, like, look, you see that? You can move it a little bit, you can see the tracks. The other wig was fuller. This one is on the thinner side, and you see how you can see black, like you can see the cap. Well, you can see the netted cap from, that was on the mannequin. I would wear a nude cap with this, because it's so thin. This is just a fun one. I have no pink wigs, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this might be the only one. And she has bangs. Let me... I'm gonna trim these real quick. It kind of irritates me. <laughs> That's some of the hair from there. I don't know why it does that, but let's trim this real quick. When I get wigs with bangs, I usually always have to trim it. should have gotten my skinny skinny comb I left those in the bathroom so I'm gonna have to do with just this brush today 
Let's move this back so you can see her eyes a little bit. So she has some cute little beads. I hate how shiny it's coming up in the camera. Because to be honest, in person, it's not this shiny. But see, this is this is why I um, try to diffuse that shininess because there's not even flash. I do have lights on, but there's not even flash. So, you know, if you have flash, this wig is going to look plastic if you're taking a picture with flash. So with this one, put a nice little cute, cute clip right here on the side. She's good to go because doing anything else, you would be able to see the tracks unless you do it very strategically like you do something like this. And even so, it's a little hard to do that. There you go. Put it in like a messy way if you want to bring some hair back. Oh, that works. That works, okay. Just gotta be strategic about how you put the hair back. All right. So she's got a good amount of shedding. Definitely, um, I mean, this wig is, is worth, I feel like it's more, it's worth more than $5, but you know, you get what you pay for, right? I got a little more than what I paid for in this situation. Let's say bye-bye to Miss Pinky. She has some like subtle highlights in there. You see that? I do like that. I like the color because it's not bright pink, but it's also not pale pale. There's some like dimension in there because there's lighter strands and then there's darker strands. She's a cutie. She's a nice little cosplay, costume cutie. Okay. Let's move on. I got a little pink bag for her. All right. This is going to be the last one. I actually wore this one already. Um, I'll talk to you guys more about this wig though, but here she is. I love this wig, love it. Um, hold on, look at this, look at this. her twice already and this the inside of course same thing this one doesn't have combs it's all right though um, I again I've worn it twice I use the straps and I've been fine every time I wore it I did wear a hat with it it does have like one of those parts like this I do do really like the scalp look at it but I'm gonna focus today I don't know. Okay, well, I do like the scalp a lot. It looks 
um, realistic in person like looking up close you can even like looking really really close you can see like I don't know the surface doesn't look smooth it has like little sort of lines or something I don't know it just it just looks more realistic than other fake scalps you know but she is so pretty I wore her on my live um, a couple of weeks ago that video is still up on my channel and then I wore her to my niece's birthday party I don't know why she was um, lifting up a little right here maybe it's how I had it stored but isn't she gorgeous She does have some static. When I wore her, I used um, Got To Be. Um, I wore Got To Be. I put some Got To Be hairspray so that it wouldn't like stick. Like I had lip gloss, I didn't want it to like stick to my face, and I was moving it up my face, so I put some Got To Be on it, and that worked fine. I did wash her. Um, not too long ago washed her with an air dry I feel like she looks even better like after I washed her hold on I wish I positioned this where you can see her fully but let me just brush her out a little bit I love this wig because I love this style. When my hair was long, longer, I used to always wear my hair like this. In a nice little loose, look at this. This is a perfect, nice little loose wave. I think she's um, 20 inch. She looks a little layered in the front, like she looks like, you know, not just straight across, but she's about 20 inches. And it's just a nice, beautiful wave. Nice, loose wave. And then the color is gorgeous. I don't feel like my lights are doing this color justice. I don't know why it keeps um, darkening. But let me see. Can you see? Yeah. Look at that. So I don't, again, like I said, I don't normally wear wigs that are like this. I got this wig um, because I love this style and I love the color. And I said, okay, let me just try it out. Worst case scenario, I don't like it. I'll wear it with a wig, I mean with a hat or I'll, I'll give it to someone or something, whatever. And I tried it on and I'm like, oh my God, I, I love it. Even without a hat. I feel like I would probably customize this part. Like I feel like I would put the effort in to customize this little area right here to look more natural because I really, really do love this wig. It's so pretty. And the density is perfect, to be honest. Like, I know this might look like a lot of hair, but when it's on, it doesn't really feel like it to me. Um, I would actually prefer more hair. But, at the same time, you know, this is a synthetic wig, so you gotta, you know, too much hair can cause tangles, tangles and all of that, and you don't want that. So I think it's the perfect density. For a synthetic wig of this length and when I wore her there was barely any tangles like I was able to throughout the day finger 
brush my hair like this there wasn't a whole bunch of like matting and it looking tangled and you know that weird how some synthetic looks well some of you don't know I keep saying you know um, but sometimes the synthetic wigs just have this weird um, look to it when it like gets tangled or matted and it's just not cute I I think I brushed my hair once that day and I was at a kids party I was out all, all day um, I was moving around a lot and I did go outside and the air hit it and all of that good stuff and it it barely tangled I brushed it once I think that was like midday when I went to the bathroom to kind of freshen up and stuff then I brushed it out but there was barely any tangles you see there's no shine to it it actually looks a little bit like almost like damaged blonde like like she probably needs her ends cut from the bleach <laughs> but I actually like that because you know it, it doesn't look perfect it doesn't look all shiny like it's fake and it's synthetic so I will probably trim her ends like just not even much just a little bit like this much I'll probably do that soon but she is I love her I love her I have always wanted my hair some sort of ombre like this so I think I'll get another one but in a different blonde color because I really really do like it blonde hair let me see something and you can't apply heat to this one but that wasn't really necessary because I like it as is you know with synthetic wigs I try not to do too much to it especially heat even though you can apply heat I try not to mess around with it too much you kind of you know want to extend the life of the wig so I don't do too much with it as far as heat is concerned I don't wash it a whole bunch it's not human hair it doesn't need to be washed con you know constantly um, you don't need to put a whole bunch of product in this case I use some hairspray or, or the most I would use is like hairspray and dry shampoo but it's not like human hair you don't need to constantly you know wash it a lot unless you wear it often but you don't really need to do too much Just as is it's ready to wear She got her little blonde and wave going. She's ready to go. She looks like she has a, a blog on restaurant reviews. Right? And she drinks pumpkin latte everything. Make it a little messy and tussled. And she's nice and soft too. It's so funny because when I wore this wig to my niece's birthday party, I walked into the place and my mom was there. I, did, I had a hat on and I did have, you know, a, 
a mask on for my to cover my um, nose and mouth and she didn't even recognize me <laughs> I walked in and no one said anything and I'm like is no one gonna greet me like um hi hi everyone and she's like oh my god that's my daughter <laughs> I didn't even recognize you. Yeah, so you see she has like little flyaway hair here and there. So um, for it to not be annoying, I just used this spray and it worked good. The hairspray worked fine. So all those little flyaways wasn't like on my face or trying to stick to my lip gloss. But this is it. This is my favorite actually one of my favorite wigs in general but my favorite for today let me know which one you liked let me know if you like these types of videos and I will make more of them I have a whole bunch of wigs <laughs> and I'm gonna try to do some wig try on soon as well because that was fun um, but yeah let me know if you like these types of videos, I will make more of them. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your night, your day, your nap, your sleep. Enjoy and make sure you take care of yourselves right say bye bye my mannequin still doesn't have a name say bye bye i think she looks like a bridget or something <laughs> say bye bye bridget i'll see you guys next time